Hey, it's Teresa with My Life's Advice, and today I'm answering a question I get asked a lot, and that is, do lice jump? Let's get to it. Before getting started, just so you know who I am, my name's Teresa with MyLiceAdvice.com, and I'm a registered nurse, and I actually specialize in head lice. So if in this video you discover lice, don't freak out. Just go to MyLiceAdvice.com, I have step-by-step -step videos. I'll walk you through how to get rid of it. Lice are super contagious, and one of the reasons why they're so contagious is that their little legs kind of have this superpower that makes them move really fast and really well in hair. Here is a lice bug close up. Look at the end of their legs. They have these little claw looking things, almost like a crab. So these legs make it so that they can grip onto hair really tight and not fall off. It also makes it so that they are really good at moving from one person's hair to another person's hair. Over 90% of the time, head lice is passed from direct head to head contact, which basically means your hair touches another person's hair and lice very quickly grip onto the other person's hair and go from one person's hair to the other. That's how head lice is spread. Okay, so now let's answer that question, do head lice jump? So a lot of people get head lice and fleas confused. Fleas right here have these hind legs, that's kind of their superpower, that they can jump really high and they can jump a lot. Head lice, as you can see, don't have that kind of hind legs. Their superpower is these claws that grip in hair and make it so that they can't fall out of the hair and that they can move from head to head quickly. So the answer to the question about do head lice jump is no, they don't jump. Instead, they get around really quickly with these claws. Now what else makes head lice so contagious is their second superpower. And that is that they can actually smell your blood. Sounds crazy, but some people get head lice way more than other people, and that's because their blood smells really good to head lice. If you're watching this video because you don't have lice and you're worried you're gonna get it, there are tons of ways to prevent getting head lice. And I cover all of them on my website in an article called 21 Ways to Prevent Head Lice. There's also a video there. So I will put a link in the description below. Now, if you're checking out this video because you do have lice, Another one of lice's superpowers is that they've actually grown immune to over-the-counter kits and stuff like that. And so if you've had lice for a while, you keep using these kits and you keep getting lice back, it's not because you're getting it back from other people, it's because you didn't really get rid of it. So what I recommend in those situations is heading over to my website. I have a step-by-step -step video tutorial that'll walk you through. You just follow along with the videos and by the end of the videos, you are done with lice for good. And I'll put a link in the description below. Now, if you're not sure if you have head lice and you wanna know how to check for lice, go to my free video tutorial that's called How to Check for Lice. You can find a link in the description below. So that's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe below. And if you have a comment, feel free to leave a comment. And if you have discovered lice, then head over there and check out that step-by-step -step video system. I'll see you there.